I'm Rob Perry. I'm the chief administrative officer for the city of Albuquerque, the number two guy at the city. Mayor's out of, uh, out of the office today, and I get the opportunity and the privilege to fill into him for him today in uh, talking about some of our Friday's heroes. Friday's heroes and employee of the week. Friday's heroes is when we honor public service um, uh, officers from both the fire service and the police service. We're going above and beyond uh, the call of duty, and, and today's story is a really great story. Um, it's about Officer um, Amy Marmon, and this is her family, Dane, children, and I see uh, some of you, the other folks from, from Coast with you, and these beautiful children as well. And uh, Amy Marmon's with the APD Coast team. And COAST stands for Crisis Outreach and Support Team. They deal with people that are typically in a crisis situation of one form or another. It runs the gambit. But it's a very, very um, uh, difficult situations and unique situations that are typically encountered in these crisis situations. Um, in this situation, Amy helped the woman that was from out of town. And it helped her from spending the night on the streets. She was in a great deal of distress probably of a high risk type caliber because of some developmental uh, uh, challenges she had. And this past fall, Amy received a call from a woman who was having a dispute with her employer. And in this particular situation, her employer was an out of town magazine salesperson. Probably all had people come to our doors here in Albuquerque. And usually it's young people and they're selling magazine subscriptions. And you get the sense that they're from out of town. And myself, over the years, having lived here 35 years, you know, after I'd say thank you for coming, but we're not interested type situation in most cases, I'd always wonder about that poor person and knowing that they seem like they're from out of town. Um, here, basically, what happened was the, the magazine saleswoman was from out of town. She was from Tennessee. And uh, basically, she had a dispute with, with her company. And she got left high and dry. She didn't have a place to stay. She went back to the hotel that she was at. She was locked out, and she was told that she was on her own. In addition to that, she's in a city that's unfamiliar to her. She has no friends or associates, nobody she can call and rely on. And she had her luggage with her she was carting around, and a service animal, a service dog, uh, so that she, she had the challenges of that as well. So after Amy intervened in the situation, into encountering this situation, she realized this woman was going to be on the streets in a, in a particularly perilous situation. And uh, what she did was just amazing. You know, she calmed the gal down. She told her she'd be OK. We take care of people here in Albuquerque. And basically got with her folks from coast. And they got a bus ticket to send her back to Tennessee. But what Amy did was go one step above and beyond that. She actually took her own personal money and paid for a hotel room for this gal that was from out of town so that she had a safe and secure place to stay that night before she got on the bus with her luggage and her dog and reunited with her, you know, her family back in Tennessee and the folks she knew. And when we talk about Friday's Heroes, we talk about doing things that are outside and above and beyond your job. And this definitely is one of those stories. I know that Coast paid for the bus ticket. I had heard that you paid for the hotel. And I was, I was saddened to hear that we didn't have some program or you wouldn't let us. But uh, I'd sure like to revisit that because that was just an amazing personal act of sacrifice. You've got family that could use that money and do other things. and. My heart goes out to you as far as the, the, the way you've held the city in good stead. With that, I'm going to have the chief give a couple of comments about this. Thank you so much, Rob. And, and we're very proud of the work that's done each and every day by the men and women of the Albuquerque Police Department, but specifically our CIT team and, and Coast Unit. And Amy is obviously a very integral part of CIT, helping people in crisis. And Coast kind of bridges that gap. And we're also very fortunate in the fact that we do have some other groups that help us, uh, Face Lutheran Church is one of those groups that helps provide monies that help in situations like that, but some like this, but sometimes that money does not go far enough. And we're able to reach out to have people help us, help people in a, in a, in a time of need, of need. Specifically with this incident, uh, because there was a service dog uh, involved, Officer Marmon realized that it was critical that, that this lady not be separated from her dog, and I believe that was one of the issues is hotels not wanting to allow the dog to be present with her. And at one time, the dog might have had to go to animal control for some time. Amy was able to work out an equitable solution, get her in a hotel at her expense, and allowed her dog to stay with her. So it shows the compassion uh, that people like Amy have uh, within the department to, to make sure that somebody who is in crisis or may be in crisis 
can be dealt with as, as humanely uh, and as humanistically as possible. So I want to thank you for a job well done, for representing the department great in this situation and making a difference in somebody's life. So congratulations. And as a small token, Amy, we have um, the, the uh, Friday's Hero um, insignia coin for police and fire and emergency management. And you, uh, you were her hero back then. You're our hero today. And, and I know you're a hero every day for your family and the city. Thank Excellent you, job. Let's give Amy a big hand. Okay, we're going to do next, we're going to do, thank you. We'll take some photographs afterwards with your family and the chief. And so next, we're going to do Employee of the Week. So if, uh, if Carlos Candelaria and, and uh, let's go, Mr. Mora, you too. <laughs> James Mora can join me and some of, some of his folks from Solid Waste. This is a really nice story, too. In addition to Friday's Heroes, of course, we do Employee of the Week. And this week, uh, the employee of the week is Mr. Candelaria, Carlos Candelaria. Carlos is a driver with the Solid Waste Department. And James Moore is the director of um, the Solid Waste Operations, the operations director for the Solid Waste Department. And um, that's a department that you know also touches everybody li li everybody's life in one way or another. Um, because we see the, the postman, we see the solid waste driver every week, and we kind of rely on our city's uh, services as that for pretty important things. And um, we received a letter in this particular case from a, a family, Ray and Mary Lou Baca, out in the northwest part of town. And the Bacchus informed us about what Carlos had done in this particular case, and she stated that she was struggling with her husband's uh, serious health problems and that he had been in the hospital and uh, at the time it was very difficult for her to pick up the chores of a, of a you know, significant other and uh, these people were a little bit older. And so Carlos was aware of the community around him and, and, and his route and the people that lived on the route and the situations of that which you know sometimes when you see the, the solid waste vehicle go by your house you know, in some of the media stories I've seen, they, they think there isn't a personal touch to that. But, but Carlos certainly proved otherwise. And so he noticed that the lady's trash bin wasn't at the curb one day. So he actually stopped his truck and he slowed down his route. And he saw the lady struggling to basically get the trash bin out of her, you know, out and uh, move the bin to the curb so it could be, it could be emptied. And he got out basically and he helped that woman out and, and they talked and you know learned about the situation with her ailing health of her husband and the like and that's a huge way to reach out to the community and send a message i mean you think if you were the bacchus and you were having this health problem with your with your husband or your significant other and a city employee comes and shows that kind of uh, individual touch and dedication that's just an awesome awesome job and uh... you know they're stressed and everything else in a separate incident we would learned that um, Mr. Candelaria heard of the passing of a resident in the same no neighborhood and that had happened I think it was right around that same time and he went out of his way to stop at that resident's house and to walk up and to talk with uh, the man's wife and the daughter and to offer his condolences for their loss and again a great job of going above and beyond the call of duty taking time out of his hectic life his hectic job the demands that you know people put upon him to do his job in a timely manner and do so many collections and things like that and I just want you to know Carlos that we really appreciate that out of our employees that caringness on your part to the community and uh, I'm gonna invite operations director James Moore to come up and talk a little bit more about Carlos good morning Congratulations, Carlos. Um, I've known Carlos for a very long time. Me and Carlos actually grew up in the same neighborhood together in the North Valley. And I still remember Carlos back then out in Gregos Elementary School playing basketball or out in the sand lot right next to Valley High School playing baseball. And he was just this mild-mannered guy, just great soul. And 18 years later, our paths crossed again at the Solid Waste Department. I had already moved up into management, and Carlos became one of my drivers. And the only thing that's changed is my weight, and I had a little bit more hair back then. <laughs> and Carlos is still that same guy. He's the type of employee that you actually have to go look at the time card to see if he's actually here. He just comes in, he punches out, and go, does his job, and 
his his garbage truck is is spotless and that's nowadays it's a lot of people really look at garbage trucks as always being dirty and stuff like that and carlos is out there always cleaning his truck and he's just a a great great guy and um carlos it, it's it's been a pleasure to work um, for you and in, in the city of Albuquerque, thanks you, thanks you for everything that you've done. And I got a little quote here from uh, Geronimo Rivera, his field supervisor. Carlos Candelaria is one of my best drivers. He is a very kind and quiet person who comes to work every day with one thing on his mind, serving the people of the city of Albuquerque. So thank you, Carlos, for everything that you've done. Sure. And Carlos, we have a, a small token of appreciation. We have an employee of the week mug that I'm gonna set right here for you. We also have a certificate for Employee of the Week and a letter from the mayor that uh, recognizes your um, ex ex excellent, excellent performance there. Those are great words by James, who's known you a long time. You sound like you've been a real asset to the community, both at a personal and professional level. And uh, John, thanks for having a great guy um, and, and, and providing these services to the city. Let's give Carlos a big hand.